Shalom. This is the Rock for the Detroit Camp. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and God who does, that will honor to the apostles and elders of great Middle who rule well and who has the 100% truth. This is for the whole free lift of Israel, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I'll say you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth. That's me go within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you in your lineage, go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, the true Hebrew Israelites in this Bible speaks of. Okay, first and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, how, why He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, the first spirit created, it's Yahweh Shai. And which was given the blueprints by the Heavenly Father Yahweh to our Lord and Savior Yahweh, say along with the Allahim, the holy angels, to create everything you see and don't see. Okay? His name means salvation. Yahweh Shai. He, Yahweh Shai. The deliverer, salvation, he saves, he, he delivers. Okay, with that, it's going to hit some scriptures. It's probably be a two-part. Okay, got some notes. Dealing with the Day of Judgment, because we are coming upon that day. We're coming upon Jacob's trouble. We've seen the wars and rumors of war. We, we've seen the uproars of the people. Okay, all these things is, is being made evident. Okay, and that's why you know you should. The scriptures say, "Seek me," while you still have time. Okay, Amos five and twelve. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just. They make a bribe, and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Okay, the heavenly Father Yahweh Yahweh I sees everything that's going on among the wicked Esau, Edom, and you other heathen nations, as well as you so-called niggers, Latinos. And Native Americans who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, and that day, that terrible day of the most like your house your house is near. Okay, he sees everything you're doing. Okay, you're making money off of Jake. Okay, you're denying his right to the 100% truth. Okay, and that's what, what you Jakes are doing. Okay, you, so, you Hebrew Israelites. That's what you're doing. You have to pray for breakdowns, this, that, and the third. You know, you, you're selling garments. Making it a business. You're doing other things that are not right. Okay? According to the Heavenly Father Yahweh Yahweh The Heavenly Father Yahweh Yahweh sees everything that's going on among all, everyone. Okay? The heathen nations and his children. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Make up the 12 tribes of Israel. He sees everything. Okay? All right? And guess what? America. It's not going to make it. Babylon, the great spiritual Solomon Eden. If you join with them and you're not trying to get yourself together, you're going to perish on the side. Romans 13, 11 through 14. And that knowing the time that now it is high time that we'll wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in a variety and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the heavenly father Yahweh. They had to put on, but put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust there. Provision on the flesh is all those things that bring you comfort of the flesh. And you, have, you gotta know the flesh is the enmity uh, between. Uh, the only fight y'all buy from your house out, okay? Flesh want what it wants. And it's going to fight against what the spirit wants, okay? And who is salvation for? St. John 4, 21 to 24. The house I said it to her. Woman, believe me, the hour coming. When, we, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Now, talking about the woman, the, the, the uh, heathen woman. Okay, then when your house side went to the town, ended up talking to her. She was a heathen woman. But she was brought up to believe that she was an Israelite, Hebrew Israelite. But she won. Okay, but she was brought up in the customs. Okay, because they were heathens in our land. Okay, they, they were heathens. They were taught our ways. Your house side said it to, the, to her woman, believe me. The hour coming when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet 
at Jerusalem. Worship the Father. You worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. Okay? We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. Okay? But the hour coming, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Most High Yahweh is a spirit. Okay? And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's the whole thing. You got to worship him in spirit and truth. Everybody can't make it. This is only for the Hebrew Israelites. You know, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and the northern kingdom. You, you know, these so-called Native Americans. You know, you got Issachar. You know, you get the so-called Puerto Rico. The northern kingdom. The 12 tribes of Israel. Not you heathen nations. Not you Edomites. Not, not, not Amnon, not, uh, not Ammon, not uh, Moab, and you other heathen nations. Okay? 2 Kings 17, 27-29. Then the king of Assyria command, commanded, saying, Carry did the one of the priests whom ye brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there, and let him teach them the manner of the Most High Yahweh of the land. Then one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in Bethel and taught them how they should fear the Lord. Albeit every nation made gods of their own and put them in the houses of the high place which the Samaritans had made. Every nation in their cities where they dwelt. Okay, after they took, took us in captivity, they sent back the priests, okay, to teach the heathens our ways. Okay. That's what happened. So this word of the true gospel of Yahweh is not for you other heathen nations. Starting first with Esau Edom, the simple clay white man, who includes himself into our heritage and customs. Okay, that's why you hate us because you know we speak the truth. Everyone can be a Hebrew Israelite, but us. So you you, you so-called niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans. They got everybody over there right now in our land. Say that they're the Israelites, okay? Now, you got some over there, but the majority are not. They're heathens, okay? They're heathens, okay? Romans 9, 24. Even us, whom he had called, not other Jews only, but also the Gentiles, okay? Gentiles, meaning Israelites, living in a Gentile state of mind, in which today we are in our captivity in Babylon, the great spiritual Solomon in Egypt, also known as America. We took on the ways and customs of the heathen nation. As the Holy Scripture says, there's nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that has been, it, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Okay. With that, we go to this. First Maccabees 1, 10 to 12. There came out of them a wicked root. Uh, Antiochus. Surnay Epiphanes. Son of Antiochus the king. Okay who had been a hostage in Rome, and he reigned in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. And that's just like today, you know. But but wait, but Jay finding out that when they joined up with these heathens, they joined up with Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white man that they made a mistake okay that they messed up because now they're getting they're falling they're falling they're making them look like fools which they are who would pity a child but bitten by a snake okay just like back then it's happening now first Maccabees 1 10 to 12 if they came out of them a wicked root Antiochus Surname Epiphany, son of Antiochus the king, who had been a hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And those days went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us, for since we departed from them, we had had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. This happened after Alexander the Greek, which are you Edomites today? This happened after he died, after he went to the spirit world, which signified, which signified that wicked root that's still ruling today. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? 
He covered the faces of the judges there. If not, where and who is it? There's nothing new under the sun. You still have your Jakes who sold out, okay? Today. You want to hold on to the heathen's way because it allows you to continue in your wickedness. This is why the true gospel is for the elect of Israel on this side because of that, okay? Romans 11, 78. What did Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for? For the lesson have attained it, but the elect have attained it, and the rest were blind. According as it is written, the Most High Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And you see that. No matter what you tell them, they're not going to get it. 2 Corinthians 4, 1 through 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of the Most High Yahweh deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, committing ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? But if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High Yahweh, shall sign unto them, okay? Because they're blinded, okay? Amos 5 and 10, they hate him that rebuke it in the gate, and they abhor him that speak it uprightly. There's two brings division among you, Jason, you heathen nation, because you cannot accept it. It doesn't matter if you accept it or not. This truth has and will go out until it's cut off by the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, and it's 5 and 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. That day is coming. This information will be cut off. I said 33 and 6, and six should be at the forefront right now. And it reads... I said 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy ties. And the strength of salvation. The fear of the heavenly father Yahweh is his treasure. Why? Because soon as the sheep hip, Revelation 13, 16, is made mandatory, all uh, hell will break loose on you, Jacob. Okay? Take us trouble in having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of what and how and why will help you. Okay? But with faith, how to navigate in the time to come, okay? 2 Timothy 3 and 1 through 3. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despises of those that are good. We are in the beginning of those evil, wicked times, okay? And it will only get worse. There's plenty of judgments by your house, by your house. That's happening now. You see it on your news broadcasts in your communities. Fire, diseases, earthquakes, which was already foretold to happen in the last days. Second Esther 15, 1 and 6. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the word of prophecy. The words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth. Say it. Then we find your house, your house. And cause them to be written in paper. But they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations. Against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Incredulity simply means unbelief. Okay, verse 4 For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Most High Yahweh, I Yahweh, I will bring place upon the world to swore famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Who's the wicked? Who, who, who perpetrated the wickedness and got everybody doing it? Okay. First and foremost, through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh on the left hand side, which is operated in the flesh by Esau, Edom, Richard E. Lee, Bacon Fountain, the simple clay white man, okay? But his laws and, and stuff like that, he, he made the things that are abominable to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh legal. Starting from men on men, women on women. All the way down to the animals, all the way down to the land sabbath, everything. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Most High Yahweh, I will bring plagues. Yahweh Shem Yahweh said, I will bring plagues upon the world of swore, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted, exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, this man can't keep going, it's devil. 
we're going to destroy the, the, everything, the world and, and us too. Okay. Then why you, this is why you should be seeking your high bashing house out. Here's what you want and need. Here's what you want and need to have. When that time comes into full effect, seek him now, okay? Psalms 91 and 1 and 3. He that dwell in the secret places of the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Most High Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the and from the noise and pestilence, which is the noise and pestilence, the thermonuclear missile, which is coming upon Babylon, the great spiritual Solomon, Egypt, aka America. Okay? The secret place is the Holy Scriptures. Occupy yourself in learning, reading, and with faith, understanding to the best of your ability of what did Yahweh by some Yahweh say for you to do before he comes back. This is what he said. Luke 19, 11 to 13. And as they heard these things, he added and spoke a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem. Okay? And because they thought that the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh should immediately appear, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. He called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. We were given ten pounds, which represents the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, given to it and entrusted to us to invest it so that it could become an increase for the Heavenly Father Yahweh by some house. Luke 19, 11. And as they heard these things, he added and spoke a parable because he was not to Jerusalem and because that they thought that the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh should immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went to a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. He called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he has returned, and when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound have gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound has gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, but thou also over five cities, okay? And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy palm, which I have kept laid up in a napkin, for I fear thee, because thou art a, art a, a, a store man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said to him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was in a steward man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then givest, wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required my own with usury? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you that unto every one which hath shall be given. And for him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. But those my enemy, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Okay, so with that being said, we have to endure to the end. This is not our rest. Okay, we have to pray for endurance. We have to pray for all things. Okay, we have to pray. Did you have me house? I keep the spirit on us. Okay. We have to pray for all the Hebrews 11 and 16. But now they desire a better country. Read that again, Hebrews 11 and 16. But now they desire a better country. That is, in heavenly. Wherefore the most high Yahweh is not ashamed to be called their power. For he hath prepared for them a city. We know this by faith. We look for a better country. Then we will be at rest. Okay. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. We are faith based because of what? St. James 2, 2 and 20. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. Was not Abraham, our father, justified by works? When he had... Offer Isaac his son upon the altar. Seest thou 
how faith brought with its works. And by faith, by works, selected by works, was faith made perfect. By our works, our faith, our faith is going to be made perfect. You get better and better at what you, what, what you do concerning the honest work of your Habas and your house. And going through the trials and tribulations, your patience, is, be, be, you know, you'll be strong in your patience. Okay? This is why we have to endure until the end. We'll be made perfect through patience. This will be the final test. First Peter 5, 1 through 4. The elders which are among you, I exhort. Okay? And that's why, you know, we, 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 you know, we, we always give our elders, apostles and elders, great millstone, we, ex, you know, we, we you know, double honors. We always do that. Who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High Yahweh, which is among you. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of ready mind. Neither as being lords over the Most High's uh, heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And this, this is what our uh, uh, elder apostles and bishops great millstone is for us, an example. Okay? And, and the, the, the main example is our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. And when she passed it down, and it's always order. Okay? Neither as being lords over the most high heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. Okay? Our Lord and Savior told this to Peter three times. Feed his sheep. Okay? He put emphasis on it. It is a commandment, a precept. Okay? With that being said, I'll leave off on this, Matthew 20, Matthew, St. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come, okay? Then the end shall come. Okay, so with that, the wild to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh said by Hashem, Rakaq Kudash, for allowing me to get this out, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. You have a shot by his son, Rakaku Das, that will honor the apostles and others of great millstone who will, and who has to wind up and say too. And with that, Shalom.